Hello. Good morning, rich boy. Good morning, my little man. How are you, dude? Shivi. Oh, yeah. Finally. A nice day off. Oh, what is up, my people? How the heck is everyone doing? It has been... It's been a long week. I apologize for not posting all week long. It's just been, uh, it's been a rough one. Been super busy at the shop. Tattooed every day this week. Thankfully, I booked myself. Booked myself a lot this week just so I can uh, try to get my mind off of things. Got some real unfortunate news today. And it's nearly not a fun one. But I like to keep everything transparent with you guys. So we're going to talk about it here in a minute. I'm just getting up, getting everybody ready. I got to pressure clean this patio real quick. Got to let the birds out. We're gonna we're gonna start this video out on a positive note. We're gonna take care of some animals. Would you relax? We're gonna take care of some animals, okay? Including you guys. So relax. Show you guys some new animals. We'll start the video off with life. How about that? And then I'll tell you guys about what has happened. My love, Shiva, come show everybody how pretty you look. Look, Shiva just had the groomer come over. Look how beautiful she looks. Went through her coat. Even though she still sheds like crazy. Oh my god, look at that. This is every freaking time. That's what Gianna doesn't like in the house. It gets everywhere. And then we got a vacuum every single day. But it's okay because you're perfect, my love. My cute little baby. Look at that. Loves it. Right? Are you happy, Shivi? Hey, Shiva. Hey, Mama. Hi. Hi, Shivi. Hey, you playing? Yeah, this, re this week really... It's kind of a little bit of a setback. I have a lot of things that I need to get done on this property. A lot of in progress things. Still upgrading the tortoise pen. Got this chicken coop that I'm still in the middle of building. I finally just finished this shed. It's gonna have its own video here as soon as I am done. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be sick. It's huge. Look at that. I made that with just a couple of homies. It's freaking awesome. And the rest of the design is going to be even cooler. Got some really sweet ideas for that. Oh, yeah. oh, they love that. Hello, wet chicken. <laughs> Hello, baby. Hi. Are you soaking wet? Look at this. Look how wet you are. Look how wet you are. Can I show people? Let me see. Let me see your feathers. Let me see. Come here. Want to come here? Look at this wet chicken. Look at that. You are so cute. <laughs> I love when they're soaking wet. I always try to give them a good shower at least a couple times a week. They love the rain. They love it. So cute. Hey, would you relax? Come over here. Say hi to everybody. Cute little chicken. All right. That is done. On to the next thing. I'm going to give you guys a little walk around update while I take care of the rest of these birds over here. We have a lot, a lot of birds now. Like... So many birds. Let me see. We'll, we'll do we'll do a count because I honestly have no idea. Okay, we have two ducks now. We have three African geese that I don't think you guys have seen at all. We have a baby albino turkey named Gobbles, and then we got three quails. Also, I don't know if you guys remember before, but look how big the ducks are. They're huge. Look at this. Yo, relax. It's fine. I'm just trying to show everybody how big you are. Look how big these freaking ducks have got. Hey, relax. It's okay. You're going to be fine. I promise you. Oh my God. Drama queen. So as you can tell, the ducks are really bonded with us very closely. They love us. Not. Sharon. Hello, mama. What are you doing? Are you dust bathing? in the dirt so look she's been digging up all this freaking dirt and making her own dust bath sharon what the heck are you doing and not only that so she's she lays eggs in here we only got two eggs in this and that guy and then there's another little spot over here don't mind my garage my garage is an absolute Mess right now, one of the things I gotta do on my days off, but uh, we got, oh, is there one egg in there? So that must have been from today, see that? She's got a couple different spots where she likes to lay her eggs, which is cool. I mean, look, look at all these stinking chickens. Look at all these chicks. Look how big they're getting. It's 
crazy. We even got some little tiny ones that we got just yesterday. Look how little those little gentlemen are. I don't know what's a hen, what's a rooster yet, but look, those are the Rhode Island Reds, these guys right here. Look how much different they look from before. So stinking cool. Not only that, but this is one of the Jersey Giants. Look at how big this chick is and how freaking cute he is. Their little tails. Oh, I am super addicted to chickens, okay? There's all different kinds of colors and shapes and sizes and fluffy ones, not fluffy ones, red ones, gray ones, black ones, white ones. Dude, it's freaking awesome. Chicken math. That is the thing. I've been watching a lot of chicken videos and a lot of people have... The people that are into chickens, I've come to find out, are really, really into chickens. Like, obsessed. Now look at one of these little guys. Now, maybe you guys can help me out with this because I don't know the difference yet. I'm still learning about these guys. But these I just got in yesterday. Okay, look how cute this little chick is. So this is a black-breasted red phoenix chicken. Okay, right? Did I say that right? So these guys get really, really pretty as adults. And the roosters get these really, really long tail feathers that are beautiful. So I'm hoping a couple of these are roosters. Obviously, this one's all white. So I wonder how that's going to look as it matures. And then there's these little guys. Look how freaking cute these little guys are. Look at the pattern on the backs of them. So stinking cool. I don't know if they're sexually dimorphic as babies or not. But, I mean, these guys obviously look way different than those little blonde ones that I just showed you. So stinking cute, though. I love these little guys. Ah, they're adorable. And it's also, another real fun thing about it is that they change so much. Even these Rhode Island Reds, these are the ones that I got at Red Barn. You know, when they were chicks, they, looked, they were just tiny little red chicks. They didn't have any feathers or any, like, distinguishing characters to them that make them look unique you know but now look they're getting their wings they're getting all sorts of really cool colors look at how beautiful this little chicken is so cool hi how you doing you hungry i'm gonna give you some food here in just a second and then of course we have a couple of these silkies also i think there's like five or six silkies in here as well all together there's probably i don't know 20 chickens in here you know give or take but look how cute these little footballs are i love them and to be honest, maintenance is not too bad on them. Pretty much twice a day, we check on them in the morning, we check on them at night, or we check on them periodically throughout the day. Gianna comes out here, she hangs out with them and plays with them. We let them go. We let them loose in that little corral that we have over here. I have another little electric fence for chickens that I got in the back of my truck that I still have to set up. So that way they have a big grazing. So they have a way bigger grazing area and uh, it's really easy to move in its solar panels. So we can, move the, we can move this new fence all around the property and give them new sections of grass to graze in every day. So that's gonna be really crucial for them. It's gonna be really crucial for them growing up because you not only wanna give them the chicken feed, the, the higher protein starter chicken feed, but I also give them, they get grain like this, which has a bunch of corn and other grains inside of it, which is great. They love it. They freaking, they go, they go crazy for it. And then we also got mealworms, mealworms and beetles. And everybody loves these guys. So the chickens eat this, the ducks love it. And Sharon's doing great. She's just free roaming the property every day. Doesn't even go in a cage or nothing. She's just always out and about living her life. Here, there, eat. Oh, hey. Oh, you got me some coffee? Thanks. What? Sharon almost got run over. Don't run her over. Yeah, right. nice. Oh, we got a real sleepy baby. I love my cute love. You're so cute. I love. And then these guys. Gotta give them some food and some water. They do this every day. Like three times a day, they knock this water over. We gotta really find like a heavier one so that way they stop knocking it over so much. Hey, would you guys relax? We're taking you out right now. Chill. Come on. Let's go. I love these geese. They follow me everywhere. Look at this. Look at this. You guys are crazy. Look, if I run, they will take off, right? Look at this. Uh. Let's go. Come on. I'm faster. I'm faster. Let's go. Come on. Keep going. Come on. Let's run. Run, run, run. Woo. They're fast. 
They are very fast. Oh. Hi. Hello, my creatures. Come here. Hey. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you, my cute guys? How are you? Oh, I love these guys so much. They're so much fun. So these guys are African geese. So they are going to get gigantic. And the whole point of having geese is that eventually, here shortly, this whole area is gonna be gated off. I got all these, see all these pieces of wood right here? These are all the fence posts right here. And then I got the game fence coming today. So this whole area is gonna be game fenced off. And then we're digging a big pond right here for the ducks and the geese. So this is gonna be the chicken slash bird area. Eventually there's gonna be emus in here also. Obviously separate from the chickens. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna make them a nice big pond right underneath this tree. So that way they can get in the water, cool off, wash themselves off, all that fun stuff. We even have a bunch of these little kiddie pools right here. Well, during the day when we're hanging out and doing things out here, we fill the kiddie pools up for them. And they swim in the kiddie pools and dive underwater, rinse themselves off. It's really good enrichment for them and they love it. They're just so funny though. They follow us wherever we go. Anywhere I go on it, oh my goodness. Anywhere I go on the property, they chase after me. Come on, let's go. Let's go, come here. Come on, little cuties. Come on, little cuties. Come on. Let's go, guys. Hi, hello. So, the one with the yellow band is Lorenzo. They're still getting used to Shiva, slowly but surely. So we have Lorenzo, and then we have Grace. Grace is that one. And then Faith is the one with the red band on her. So hopefully, I've been doing a lot of research about how to tell the sex from a male and female at such a young age. We got them over at Wild Cargo, and they told us over there, um, yeah, Hillary said that it looks like, obviously, a male and two females, which is why we named them Lorenzo, and then we got Grace and Faith. So hopefully, that's how it pans out. And we have one boy, two females, because that'll be awesome. And it's going to be hilarious for the channel. They're guard geese, okay? So the reason why people get geese is to guard their flocks and guard other animals on their property. These guys are going to get very, very territorial. Even to the point where I'm going to be having friends over and they're going to start chasing people off the property. Like literally, these geese will chase you, bite the crap out of you. They are little defenders. They're awesome. I love them. So stinking cool. So guardians of the flock. Relatively easy to take care of. So just a couple times a day, I just make sure everybody has fresh water. And then I put some electrolyte and uh, vitamin supplements inside of the water as well. It turns it like almost like a yellow color. Hey, you guys ready to go swimming? I'm about to fill up your pond for everybody else. And everybody can have a nice little pool day, all right? There you go, cute guys. Oh, I love these birds so much. They're so stinking cute. Hi. You cute little guy. You just can't deny the cuteness. Look at this. And now they'll dive in this water too. Even though it's not that deep, they will submerge their entire bodies in here and try to swim underwater. Let me see if I can get one to do it on video. Lorenzo is the one to really do it. And where is Lorenzo? This is Lorenzo right here. He's the one that really likes to go swimming. Dive underwater, dude. Show everybody how you do it. Oh, they got the ducks getting curious too. And then the chickens in the background. They don't want no part of this pond though. Chickens can't get wet. Hi. Come here. What? You want some food or something? That's what you want? Look how fluffy these silkies are getting. So adorable. Look at those little mouths. Oh my God, their beaks are so stinking cute. I can't get enough of it. And we do this every day. So every day when we wake up, we come outside, we take care of the waters and stuff. We put them, all the bigger guys, we put them in the pen. Even the smaller chickens that are in this other brooder, we rotate them out. We put them, we lock up the other chickens inside the chicken coop, which is obviously, you can see it on the other side of that little gate. And then we let them out as well, except for the small guys. The small guys are small enough still to fit through the bottom of that fence and they just escape. And then we gotta chase little chickens around the yard and they are fast as crap. I let it overflow so it overflows this area also. And then all the grubs come out of the ground because obviously the water, so they try to come up for air and then they get eaten by these guys. Hey, can I get a dive, please? There we go. Got some diving. 
Look at that. They love it. They just swim along the bottom. Even though it's not that deep, they love doing it. So freaking cute. All right, so enough of the, uh, the cuteness. Let's get down to uh, brass tacks over here and tell you guys the bad news that I have been putting off for, okay, so it's probably been a good, let's say 10 days since this has happened, all right? And uh, it's a really weird situation because I have no idea what has happened. But if you've noticed, which is why I have to address this. Obviously, birds are a huge part of my life. I love my birds. And uh, they're a big part of the channel, too. Everybody loves the birds on the channel. I'm going to get Prince out of the cage, and then we'll uh, I'll drop the bomb on you guys. Hey, Prince. Come step up. Come here. Let's go. Hello. Hello, cute man. Let's go talk to everybody. Tell everybody what happened. Ah. So if you haven't put two and two together, obviously Chloe passed away this last week, over a week ago now, 10 days ago. And uh, no reason why at all. I still can't really wrap my head around why. And I called Kelly obviously as soon as it happened and uh, told her about everything. Kelly is who I adopted Chloe from. So I obviously wanted to call her and let her know what had happened and uh it was just the weirdest thing like the night before everything was totally fine you know we feed these birds about twice a day we come out in the morning we give them new water we give them some veggies and stuff and then halfway through the day towards the end of the day we give them some dry food so we're always checking on them we're always coming out here holding them hanging out with them you know what i mean prince gets to come out of the cage because prince won't fly away prince is a, such an amazing bird he's such a good boy like, he's just such a, such a sweetheart, and he's freaking, he's beautiful too. Just look how beautiful this bird is. So I take him out all the time. Taruk will fly away, and at least she lets me touch her now, though. But Prince over here just lets me do whatever I want. And I loved the cockatoos, and even Chloe. Chloe, you guys know that she only really liked me. She didn't really like anybody else over here, especially little kids. She was attacking, attacked my nephew and attacked a couple other little kids. But she was a great bird. She seemed like she was super healthy the entire time that she was here. Uh -huh. Crazy about birds is that when there are sicknesses or things are wrong with them, they're really good at masking their illnesses and sicknesses. And they don't really give you any signs until it's too late. And I was talking to Kelly about it. And Kelly, feel free to comment in the section down below. I wasn't going to include like a FaceTime thing with her, but it'll just be easier. Kelly, you can comment down below and I'll, I'll pin it so that way everybody can go down there and read how you feel about everything. Maybe there's some other reasons that you guys can figure out too. Comment down below. I came out the next morning after taking care of her at night and I just walked into her cage and she was lying dead in the middle of the cage on her back with her feet straight up in the air. And now the weird part about that is, is that there was no signs of trauma. There was no blood. There was no broken neck. Like I felt her all up and you know, I was trying to feel her neck and make sure nothing was broken in there. I looked all through her feathers and her wings and I really examined her so well to try to just find, just to find something that would tell me what happened with her. And I couldn't find anything. I have no stinking idea. Now, a couple of my neighbors, the only thing that I could think of is a few of my neighbors last week, I don't know I don't know who it was, there was like a couple streets over, but they were just three nights in a row, they were just blasting fireworks, like freaking for a couple hours at a time, just setting off fireworks. And it was late at night, it was like one, two o'clock in the morning, like completely, why are you lighting off fireworks, especially in an area where you know a million people have animals, and I'm sure a lot of other animals were scared by it. So I'm thinking maybe she got scared of the fireworks, flew into the cage, but like I said before, her neck wasn't broken, so I don't know if that was the case. And then I talked to Kelly about it, and Kelly's a firearm instructor, and she's like, oh, well, we shoot guns on the property all the time, AR-15s, you know, handguns, all that stuff, and the bird was totally fine with that. So I have no idea what could have possibly have caused this. And it was just like, it really stumped me all week. Like, it really, I get, I don't know. It sucks when you lose animals, especially, I mean, you have, I have a lot of animals, obviously, 
and I keep very good care of them. It is a full-time job caring for these animals every single day. None of these animals get neglected. They all get care every single day by all of us. They get enrichment. We play with them. We hold them. We love them. Like, that's what we do with all of the animals, with the chickens, with the geese, with the ducks, with the dogs, with freaking everything that we have here. Even, the, even our frogs that you guys don't even know about. We got a bunch of frogs inside. Like, everybody is very loved over here. Uh-oh. So it was it was very upsetting when it happened, and uh, I was obviously super scared to call Kelly and tell her what happened. I just don't want to have, give her the bad news, but she was super understanding about it. We don't know how old this bird was. We don't know how many times it was rescued before. We weren't exactly super clear on the bird's history, so we have no idea what it could be. She could have had cancer. She could have had a seizure. She could have had a heart attack. Anything like the, it's crazy. Like birds just drop dead without showing you any sign at all and it it sucks but at least we still have you prince because i would be really upset about that and he is a sweetheart he loves being touched he loves being pet he loves being kissed he's a very good bird anybody that comes over i could take prince out he he like steps up onto anybody he lets anybody pet him he doesn't bite anybody he doesn't show any signs of aggression um, when I set up my little tattoo room in the building, hopefully that'll be done soon. I just got a call from FWC the other day, so they're going to come out and do my inspection finally. I just got to get this thing all wrapped up. There's just a lot of stuff to do. And then I got a bird perch for you for my office, so that way I can rotate the birds in and out. I'll bring I'll bring Taruk in there while I'm tattooing, so Taruk can hang out while I'm working. I'll bring Prince in there to hang out. Obviously, Tuk hates me still, so I would love to take him out and give him some enrichment and some love, but he's just he's a jerk off. He doesn't let me touch him. But that is it. I want to start this video off with a bunch of life and show you guys all the new ducks and chickens and all that other stuff that we got over here that I haven't had time to make videos for yet. And the geese, obviously the geese. Comment down below, how adorable are those stinking geese? I can't wait to see them grow. Until next time, guys, stay tuned. We got all sorts of stuff coming this week. I'm, I'm getting back to work. I'm trying, I'm, I'm slowly getting out of my funk, okay? I don't like being on camera when I'm upset, you know, it's really hard to talk and it's, it's really hard to just like, just go about everything like everything is fine, you know what I mean? And sometimes things aren't always fine and that's okay, that's life, okay? Not everything is, you know, a lot of you guys online, you watch these, sh you watch these shows on YouTube or these, these channels on YouTube to escape your world and, you know, other people are going through other things and, you know, life is not always easy, you know, things happen. You know, animals die, your friends die, family dies. Like, it's just a part of life. And it gets you down sometimes, but it's totally normal and everybody goes through it. So, I like to make these videos just to make you guys feel a little bit more connected and just be transparent about everything because we're all humans here. We all have emotions, we all have things that happen in our lives, and you know, some things make us upset. And, and that's okay. It's all right to be upset sometimes. You know, there's all sorts of things happening. It's a, look at Brian Barczyk, for example. Brian just found out he had cancer this week. Another, another, horrible, another horrible thing to find out this week. You know, a good friend of ours is, you know, he's not doing well. And that's terrible. Brian is such an amazing person. He's such a just loving, kind-hearted, honest, just... I love him to death, dude. Brian is one of the best people I've ever met in my life. And not only that, but he's just super influential. He's extremely smart, and he's, you know, paved the road for all of us reptile keepers, you know? Anybody that keeps a ball python or anything like that, I'm sure you know who Brian Partrick is. Like, everybody knows Brian. Brian is huge in all of our lives, and his videos bring us joy. His videos bring me joy. When I'm down and sad, I watch one of Brian's videos, and he's always happy and uppy. But he also has some down times, too. Everybody does. That's totally fine. So, unfortunately, I wanted to put out this video, tell you guys about everything. The next next several videos, hopefully, are just all happy videos about new animals and the property and taking care of everything. The chicken coop. I got to set up the Baron Racers a little bit better. We got to do another Onyx video. We'll do some more monitor videos. We got all sorts of things to take care of over here on the property. We're going to be digging ponds for the ducks. We're going to be digging a new pond for the gators. We're going to be setting up this building and hopefully getting all my animals back from Chandler very, very soon. My birthday is on April 5th. So I'm really, really, really hoping to have my snakes back by April. I want them back. That's what I want for my birthday. April 5th is my birthday. I want my freaking animals back, okay? 
Love having over at Chandler's house. I love seeing Chandler all the time. I miss my animals. I miss having them home every day. I miss holding Rusty every day. You know, I miss I miss that interaction and making sure he stays nice and calm and super chill. Cause he's such an amazing animal that deserves a lot of time. So sorry for rambling on this last well, however ten minutes of this last part of the video, but I just needed to sit down and talk to you guys and just get things off my chest so that way we can continue our lives and everything will be fine. So Prince, say goodbye to everybody. We gotta teach you how to wave. You could put your head up though. Say bye. I'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure go on tylernolantattoos.com for all of your merch. Go get some shirts, go get some hoodies, go get all that fun stuff. Me and my bird are out of here. So I'll see you guys later. Say bye, Prince. Bye. Ah. Ah, I love this bird. You're so cute. I'll see you guys later.